Hi, I have here some of my chess books and I want to show you some of the books that I have. Um, this one, um, The World's Greatest Chess Game, is a very, it's a nice book. The games inside here are very, very interesting and one thing that I like very much about it is that every uh, game is not only commented but it ends also with um, saying lessons from this game. And then there is a kind of summary about the important uh, themes of the game. So that's, that's a very, very interesting addition. And there are, of course, many games of famous grandmasters uh, of all times. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice game. That's a, a book. This is one of my favorites. How to reassess your chess by Jeremy Silman. It's actually similar in some way to the famous My System of uh, Nimsovic. Um, the difference is that, well, Silman explains things in a way that I, I like actually more. It's For me it's more easy to understand when he explains the positional uh, uh, themes and, and things than the uh, old style uh, of my system of Nimsovic. And also the examples of my system are, are well, of course, uh, quite old because it's a very, very old uh, book. And in Reassess Your Chess, I, I find it very clearly explained, all these um, uh, concepts, uh, positional concepts, and uh, it's, it's a very, very good book to, to, to start learning positional play. Um, let's see, well, this one is just uh, it's a, it's a book <laughs> um, when my chess club was 75 years. The, this book was made about the history of, uh, of the chess club, but that's, well... I guess for most of you not so interesting. Now this is my big, big example, Mr. Capablanca. Uh, it's a book by Chernev's, Chernev uh, Capablanca Best Chess Endings. Not only the chess endings are here, also the, the complete games, but the analyses are most uh, focused on the, uh, the endings. Beautiful games. This, the Chess Combat Simulator, is a book that um, it's actually similar to what you can find at the website letsplaychess.com and on that website they call it Play Like the Masters. It's a, it's a, um, it's a training method in which you uh, play through a game but you try to guess the moves that were done by the grandmaster who won the game. So each time you make one move and then uh, you check if that's the move that was done in the game. If not, you do the right move, and then the move of the opponent, and then you try to guess the next next move. So actually, you are um, sitting on the chair of the grandmaster, playing against someone else. It's a very good uh, training method, and in this book also it ends every um, game with an explanation about why did the Grandmaster play like he did, so the moves, the right moves, are explained and analyzed. Now this is a, a Spanish copy of Think Like a Grandmaster, a very interesting game uh, book. I'm so used to say interesting game because I make this this game videos, but all right. Now I'm talking about books. Um, Think Like a Grand Like a Grandmaster is a, a famous book of cutoff about the way of thinking of grandmasters. It's very interesting. It is, well, uh, quite a, a book that you you really need time to, to get through it because it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very interesting but it's uh, time consuming to go through it. But it's, it's absolutely interesting to read. Now this Peak Alert, if you are interested in playing the Peak Defense, this is one of the best books I find. The most clearly explains the, the different options of the uh, Peak Defense. Oh, that was, that's a picture of my girlfriend. <laughs> okay, um, this is the Reassess Your Chess workbook. Um, so this is all... Um, how do you say that? Uh, oh, my, my English is, is turning bad. Uh, exercises, I've lost that word. Exercises uh, that are based on the ideas of this book. Re how to reassess your chess. Very interesting and uh, it's a good addition to uh, to this one. Also the main uh, ideas of Jeremy Silman are also explained in this book, but in this one is explained more in detail. 
Um, now this is a Dutch, old Dutch copy of uh, Chess Conquers the World by Ruben Fine. The owner bought it on December 5th, 1946. Now December 6th is a, um, what it's called in Holland uh, Sinterklaas. It's a kind of a celebration of, uh, well, com compared to uh, to Christmas in many other countries. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful game. Still must complete endgame course. Everyone should read this. This is perfect for all levels, beginners to uh, to uh, to experts. Very great book. And this one is a, a puzzle book. I take this one when I go on vacation. Short puzzles and oh, what's that? Oh, that's a salsa. Uh, okay, if you like dancing salsa, you can go there. Um, but these are all chess puzzles, combinations and things like that. If you are in a train traveling and you don't have a chessboard, you can use that to, uh, to practice. It's, uh, it's just uh, it's a good game. Good. Ah, there we go again. Good book. All right, this is what I wanted to show you. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.